Alrighty, we're good to go, I believe. Everyone uh, seems to be able to hear me quite well. My name is Dr. David Kanashko. I'm a chiropractor, uh, Director of Education and Training. Wait, right beside me is Juliana Kulik. Hello, everybody. Uh, my name is Juliana, and I'm an account executive here at Meditech, the manufacturer of BioFlex Laser Therapy. So uh, today's webinar is designed uh, to um, introduce uh, our BioFlex Laser Therapy systems with respect to how they can be used to uh, improve your return on investment and your uh, overall income, and also how it can be incorporated into your specific clinic uh, using some examples. We'll give you some tips. Uh, for those of you who uh, are already experienced users, you might find uh, some of this information useful. Some may be a little bit repetitive, um, but I'm sure that there'll still be some uh, pieces of information that you can take home and uh, establish your clinic to become even more successful. So let's get started. Uh, so far, it seems that everyone can hear me. If you have any questions, uh, please type them in, and I'll get to them uh, at the end of the webinar. Okay, so let's get started. So uh, essentially, we're going to talk a bit about some introductory uh, aspects to laser therapy. We'll talk a bit about how you can improve and increase your patient volume. And specifically, we'll give some examples of some, uh, some clinics that have used our equipment over the years and have become, become quite successful in developing their laser therapy practice. And we'll talk a bit about billing and reimbursement. Uh, because we do have listeners both in Canada and the United States, we'll talk about both of those demographics. And then we'll talk about some revenue scenarios that are potentially uh, possible for using the equipment. Uh, and talk about some of these startup examples and uh, talk a bit about our new marketing support on our website. So I would say the first thing you need to understand, and this is whether you're an experienced user or just starting out or learning about laser therapy, is you really do need to become an expert. This is a type of therapy that is very unlike uh, many other therapies, so you need to understand how it works, um, why it works, those kinds of things. Do a lot of reading. Uh, we offer a lot of different research papers, our laser report and so forth, so lots of information for you to, uh, to learn. Of course, you should be attending our courses and webinars as you're doing right now. There's even conferences out there that you can gain more information. You really do need to become an expert in the field. This will only help you to uh, gain more support uh, for growing your practice. You should become comfortable with your system. Uh, that is, you need to use it, uh, especially when you first start out. You need to be able to feel that uh, you know what you're doing, you know how to apply the arrays. Uh, obviously, during the training, you learn all that, but you still need to feel very comfortable and confident when you start to treat uh, your patients. So make sure that you start treating your close family and your friends and your staff. Uh, and again, you need to promote awareness. So everyone needs to understand how laser therapy works. Um, and what it can be used for. So remember that the public, generally speaking, don't know anything about laser therapy. So it's your role to educate them. It's all about educating your patients, uh, your staff, and of course any potential referrers, uh, for example, physicians or other uh, clinicians that might be referring to your clinic. And um, having informed staff is key to success. We suggest, uh, first and foremost, to have your entire staff trained. And uh, we do our certification training, our two-day um, training over here at our head office, which will be taking place this weekend. Um, it's always essential for the front line to be able to speak about laser therapy, explain the treatment so that even if they may not be the people that are actually providing the treatment, they would be able to answer questions and be able to speak about suitable treatment for their condition that laser may be helpful for. Another point I might ask, uh, add as well, um, obviously if you're a chiropractor then the front end staff uh, would know about chiropractic and, and most front end staff are, are chiropractic patients as well. They understand the benefits of the treatment, of the therapy, th those kinds of things. So uh, please ensure that, you're, that your staff all have been treated with laser therapy and certainly hopefully they've had good results with laser mm -hmm. therapy so they can vouch uh, for its effectiveness. There's truly nothing better than a personal testimonial. So as far as who the expert here is, uh, that is your role as a clinician. Um, so you need to make sure that you're able to disseminate the information uh, appropriately to your patients. We get a lot of requests for speaking engagements, for us to go out and talk uh, at different events, and we gladly do that. But also you should take on that role as the head clinician as well. Refer to the research and know the research. So for example, 
there's well over a dozen evidence-based guidelines now that refer to laser therapy. You should be familiar with those so that you can actually show your patients or show uh, general practitioners in your area about how well laser therapy works and how it's being incorporated into the most current evidence-based guidelines. Explain how laser therapy works to heal the patient's condition. Having an informed patient is key to success with laser therapy. It's very important that they understand their treatment course and what exactly is happening. Uh, providing a simple analogy or explanation about what laser is doing to the cells, to the body, how the laser is communicating is key. And truly an educated patient who understands what their treatment course is and, and what the plan of treatment is can share this with others. And over at our clinic, uh, the referrals have been the main source of our patient base. Right, so I'm going to give you a couple of analogies, ones that may, I may not have mentioned before, and it's just to give you some other ways of talking to your patients about how light therapy or laser therapy works. Uh, this little clip here, if you're uh, as old as I am, you recall uh, I Love Lucy, and uh, when they're working mm -hmm. in the chocolate factory, which uh, sounds like a good deal, but however, they're a little bit overworked. And so the whole point to this is that uh, we know that the body consists of many cells that uh, unfortunately uh, sometimes undergo injuries or disease processes. And these cells are trying to repair themselves. And obviously, sometimes they can't cope with that amount of stress, the amount of injury, and they're not able to function normally. So what light therapy really does is it gives them extra fuel or energy so they can do their jobs effectively. In other words, light therapy transforms and stimulates cells in order to function in a more normal way and therefore actually starts to heal and repair injuries. It doesn't just provide a uh, pain relief or analgesic effect on a temporary basis. Its role really is to actually repair damaged tissue, whether that's acute or chronic uh, injured uh, tissues. Another analogy would, might be for photosynthesis in plants. So we know that light promotes regeneration and growth in plants. And uh, very similarly, the human body has the ability to absorb light and thereby producing energy to boost the healing properties of the body. So in other words, this light that you apply using a laser therapy system uh, accelerates and enhances a normal recovery and repair process. So you can use different analogies like these or invent your own, but again, you have to speak to the person. And most people are lay people, they're not going to understand adenosine triphosphate or electron transport chain, all these different things. They need to understand the basics of how it works. The more you can relay, relay this to them, the easier it is for them to accept uh, and to try laser therapy. So um, again, you need to enhance patient compliance. We find this is uh, number one uh, uh, most sort of difficult uh, aspect of when you first start out with laser therapy. Uh, oftentimes patients' expectations are too high. Um, I'm forever answering questions about, uh, you know, why I'm not feeling better after one or two sessions or even after five or six, I'm not significantly better. One needs to explain to the patients uh, how it works in the body, how uh, the changes occur very slowly um, and that they are progressive and that the, the approximate time frame for feeling better. Once they understand this, then it's much e more easier for them to accept that it might take some sessions before they start to uh, really respond. And remember, of course, acute conditions will respond uh, much more rapidly than chronic conditions. So it's not unusual to start treating a chronic uh, condition like a degenerative uh, osteoarthritis of the knee, for example, uh, that's you know moderately affected. It might take five or six sessions before they actually do physically feel uh, decreased pain. But of course, there's other ways or indicators uh, to measure this. So not just pain, but range of motion. Uh, measure the circumference of the knee or the joint and see if the uh, swelling or the edema has reduced. Um, there's different forms that you can do to assess the patient's uh, uh, functioning ability. Uh, don't forget to talk about their sleep patterns if that's improved at all, or the fact that they're able to garden or do their activities a little bit more. Um, if possible, take pictures if it makes sense. So using all of these different uh, parameters, you have a much better baseline to talk to your patient about the changes that are occurring with light therapy. Um, so again, as a chiropractor, sometimes I'm used to, to you know, having my patients say, wow, I feel great after my treatment. Uh, in light therapy, that, that doesn't always happen after one session. So you need to understand the differences between something like laser therapy and manual therapy. So I'm going to talk uh, about some of our examples, um, uh, some of our, our great clinics out there that have uh, incorporated laser therapy. And I'll let uh, um, uh, Juliana speak a little bit to this. Um, 
This is Elizabeth Ewan and Dr. Ben Ewan, who have a clinic out in Bedford, Nova Scotia. Um, they opened this clinic back about seven years ago, and initially Dr. Ben Ewan was um, strictly treating chiropractic and was interested in learning a little bit more about laser therapy, and they came down to Meditech and took our training course, um, interacted with Dr. Khan, and today they have over 30 systems in Bedford, Nova Scotia. And again, we always like to mention this because it's not, you know, in Toronto or in the GTA in this large area with, with you know, so many people. And they're running a very, very successful clinic. And um, they do a combination of chiropractic as well as laser. So one of their wings is completely focused on laser therapy and the applications. And the other side is maintained with chiropractic care. So if I can also mention too that uh, as a chiropractor, Ben uh, had been practicing for many years and uh, he had heard about laser therapy and, and thought it might be a, a nice sort of adjunct or uh, you know another form of treatment he could he could offer. And what he found was that as he was incorporating laser therapy into his clinic, uh, his patients, he started to develop a lot of patients that came in that just weren't coming for chiropractic. Uh, they were coming for other conditions, perhaps that, uh, you know, as opposed to just the neck or the back, they were coming from, you know, for arthritis of their knees or tendonitis uh, in their ankle, those kinds of things. And he started to see the need for that. And you can see just a picture of his uh, laser therapy wing. Here he has many, many uh, systems set up so that a lot of his patients are coming in. They may just receive laser therapy, but typically most of these patients are going back and forth between chiropractic care and or massage or manual therapy and laser therapy. So Typically, we're in, it's a multidisciplinary type of setting uh, where laser therapy is one of the uh, you know, critical forms of treatment. In fact, it's very useful to treat in acute scenarios where you can't do manual therapy, and then those patients start to receive more uh, manual, like chiropractic or massage therapy. Uh, so they've developed, again, from one or two systems to, you can see, a very large um, network of systems based on the needs of their expanding uh, patient populace because of the addition of laser therapy. You can see here's, uh, here's uh, Dr. Ewan and Elizabeth and their front end staff. So this is a little bit about the growth of their actions with their systems. So initially back in 2006, they had purchased their first pro system. Two days later, we received a call asking for another system to keep up with the demand of their laser therapy practice. And furthermore, April 1st, which was about a month later, they needed a third system. And today, they are upwards of so many systems. So just a little quote from uh, Dr. Yu and how he mentioned how uh, it was quite thrilling to see how the growth that happened with adding laser therapy and especially with treating chronic debilitating pain conditions like fibromyalgia and chronic fatigue syndrome and some other conditions that laser therapy seemed to have really helped uh, this specific patient demographic. Next, I want to introduce Andrea Dixon. She's a massage therapist in the greater Toronto area. And uh, interestingly enough, uh, she, uh, she got interested in, in uh, laser therapy. Uh, and she wanted to, as a massage therapist, it was very unique to, to use a modality. Uh, now, it is in the, in the actual scope of practice, uh, nearly all provinces, I guess with the exception of British Columbia, that uh, massage therapists can use laser therapy. So her objective was to introduce laser therapy. She heard a lot about it. She came to visit and get, got trained and decided that she wanted to add this to her practice. So she started to grow little by little. Uh, initially, she purchased one machine and then, of course, a second machine fairly quickly. And then that uh, caused her to actually get a, a larger clinic. And she now has two dedicated laser treatment rooms along with one massage room. So this is one practitioner that can multitask and see uh, different patients at the same time. So interesting enough, her client base initially was 65% pain and injury and then 35% maintenance. And she found that many massage clinics ended up having laser therapy treatment as well. And then, of course, the opposite where laser clients also ended up uh, uh, progressing to massage treatment. So what she found was that the two were self-referred. And so many of these clients um, both received massage and laser and therefore overall her practice grew substantially. So as far as business benefits by adding laser therapy, she found that um, it was obviously an extra stream of income, that it made her especially stand out amongst other massage therapist practices in her area. So it drew more clients because of the fact she offers laser therapy. She was therefore able to draw from a broader geographical area. 
and attract people who maybe were reluctant to have massage in the first place, for example. Um, so again, as a chiropractor, if I'm just doing chiropractic, uh, then some people don't want chiropractic or, or they're afraid of it. But if I do other types of treatments, for example, laser therapy or what have you, you would draw other patients that wouldn't normally come uh, to see you just for chiropractic. And once they get to know you and become confident in, confident in your abilities, oftentimes they do become patients of uh, you know, your, your initial discipline as well. Clinically, uh, Andrea felt that uh, by adding laser therapy, um, because it's a pain-free treatment option, patients weren't afraid to try it. Uh, that she found overall that the, the pathologies she was treating started to resolve much faster. Uh, and of course, the strain on the therapist itself, because you're not doing as much physical work with these patients by adding laser therapy, it was much better on her own body. And of course, that led to happier clients and of course, her being happier uh, therapist. The Salage Wellness Center. Uh, Dr. Melanie Rappaport is the chiropractor and owner at Solage Wellness Center. Uh, they are located in South Surrey in British Columbia, and Dr. Melanie is the main clinician on site. What is particularly interesting about Solage is their uh, marketing and business concept. So their owners are a combination of uh, marketing professionals as well as business professionals who had worked in different areas to develop businesses in combination with, of course, Dr. Rappaport and her um, clinical skills. They're, um, they are currently, I would highly suggest everyone check out their website, which is www.solage.ca, and you can see how they have described laser therapy and the different applications for it. Uh, their objective was to establish a multidisciplinary clinic uh, center that was based on laser therapy. With Dr. Melanie's background and focus on natural types of therapies, using the BioFlex laser therapy system and light therapy was very important to their business model. In April, they began their, system, their clinic with two mobile professional systems and quickly saw the need for another two. They actually came to our symposium, which was in June 2013, and shared with us their, our, their business concept and marketing plan and the setup of their actual clinic. And if you see in the photo, they have very uniquely set up the mobile professionals, which come with a mini laptop and the master controller unit, for those that are familiar with our systems, and use the wall paneling to be able to function and move the systems around their treatment rooms as they would need for their day's set of treatments. Um, a quotation here from Melanie and the team, we started by treating ourselves and close family friends and so we could work out many of the little practical details involved in delivering laser therapy successfully. Furthermore about the BioFlex laser therapy systems, our systems come in three specific professional variations. Um, I always like to mention the most important aspect of the BioFlex laser therapy system is that all of these have the capability of providing the same treatment capabilities. They really differ on how you're going to integrate it into your practice, develop your business, and use it day to day. So starting over on the left with the BioFlex professional system, this system is set up on a cart with a monitor and hard drive, as we can see with the photo. And this is ideal for a clinical setting that is designed with a um, specified laser therapy treatment room, where the system itself will be in that room and designated for laser therapy. The, the second configuration, the BioFlex mo Mobile Professional, comes with a laptop and carrying case. This is ideal for a scenario where you may be making um, multiple visits or moving the system between treatment rooms. Uh, many physiotherapists, for instance, will or massage therapists will put this on a cart and then be able to move it around their treatment room. And then our third variation is the BioFlex Therapist Professional System. This system comes with a very convenient handheld controller unit that replaces the computer systems on both the professional and the mobile professional. Um, this is a very convenient system to use. It's very straightforward, but does, however, require you to manually track your treatments that are being used. So as far as billing goes, um, most clinics charge on average between $45 to $50 uh, per half hour. Uh, at Meditech here in our clinic, we charge $45 for the half hour, $68 for $45, 
and $90 for the full hour. It's not unusual to, uh, in most clinics uh, other than our own to combine treatments. So for example, a patient might be receiving uh, laser therapy and chiropractic, in which case there's a bit of a break in the fee. Uh, so that might be 75 instead of, instead of the total combined, say that might have been 90 or 100 or what have you. Um, so when you're billing uh, as far as chiropractic treatment or physiotherapy treatment or massage treatment, it's usually combined together uh, for that one uh, total fee. Um, I just wanted to add, um, a lot of the time I get the question of how do you charge in regards to time, in regards to body part. Um, generally, what we would suggest is to charge by the area being treated. So if you're treating a shoulder, you're treating the shoulder for the entire treatment. Right. So there are different ways of doing it, whatever fits best in your practice. Uh, I've seen it in different ways. Um, you also make sure that you check out uh, any uh, other uh, practitioners that use laser therapy in your area just to get a guideline of, of what fees they might be charging as well too. But remember, our treatment is very unique. Uh, the patient's being treated typically from anywhere from a minimum of say 20 minutes upwards of an hour. Uh, so that time is really uh, a part of what you're billing for. So uh, don't under undersell yourself uh, for that service because it is quite involved and of course uh, the way our treatments work uh, is much more advanced than uh, standard laser therapy uh, treatments. I'm going to talk next uh, week actually uh, about the systemic effects of laser therapy as well as the local effects um, so you have a better understanding of how our approach of using these LEDs over large surface areas has a much better uh, sort of healing capacity than uh, just using a single laser diode or a small area of treatment. So as far as reimbursement goes, Yes, uh, laser therapy is covered by most private health insurance, um, of course, based on their individual plans, and this is covered under chiropractic care, physiotherapy, registered massage therapy, naturopathic care, acupuncture, and other regulated healthcare um, practitioners. Um, generally, the scope of practice and reimbursement coverage varies based on the province and state, so you would want to look into that. Uh, laser therapy is not covered under public health and reimbursement, so always like to know that. So majority of patients are paying cash for service or under their private health insurance. I've also had a few questions about workers' compensation coverage, that kind of thing. Um, that's a case-by-case -case scenario. Typically, you would just include the laser therapy under your treatment plan. Um, I, I have heard of some uh, uh, nurses uh, that are overseeing cases that they actually will allow for specific laser therapy treatment and uh, different billings for that. But again, it's case-by-case, -case, and you need to speak to the attending, uh, typically nurse manager, case manager, to discuss that. So uh, those, those people that are in the United States, uh, they're familiar with what are called CPT codes for insurance coverage, and there are different codes out there to try uh, to cover laser therapy. Uh, there's, as you can see here, codes for physical medicine and rehab, uh, for infrared light application, for attendant electrical stimulation, um, that can include laser and LED, uh, and unlisted therapeutic procedures, as well as manual therapy techniques if you combine uh, manual therapy. So for example, you could use a laser probe to, uh, to directly work on trigger points and it would be technically covered under manual therapy techniques. So there are different codes that you can use. Um, I do have to say that most of our Bioflex users in the United States uh, do bill cash. Uh, there hasn't been an issue with that as far as people paying for it. Um, uh, again, uh, it's one of these things where uh, it is a time, uh, a fairly time-consuming uh, type of treatment, and so you need to bill accordingly. Ah, startup club, uh, the revenue aspect. So, what this is is a um, startup to see the potential for growth. So, the revenue calculations are based on forty-five dollar. Um, sessions based on 30 minutes and this is based on 50 effective hours per week. So if you see at the very top uh, with one unit based on 25% efficiency, you can see that the the funds there are $14,625 and then they grow as you grow with your um, efficiency for 40%. 60 and 80, and there's definitely quite um, potential for revenue for your clinic. Below there is the base for four units, and then we can see that multiplies by four. I could also add too that of course we put in a 50 hour work week while well, we know that uh, for example here in Meditech we are actually open seven days a week so our effective hours are even greater than 50. I think most clinics average between 30 to 50 hours so you can obviously do the math on that. Um, and typically we find that after uh, you've entered uh, a sort of a startup 
uh, with laser therapy by uh, a year or you know into the fourth quarter you should be able to have your machine up and running to about 80 percent capacity and that really does also account for the time that you are um, not treating patients so for example patients are coming in you're setting up that kind of thing so um, in a fairly busy clinic uh, that is pretty realistic that uh, you should be able to use that equipment and if you're not using it at 80% effectiveness, then that's something that you need to discuss with us as far as your approach, uh, how we can help you with that. I was just talking to uh, um, a chiropractor out in British Columbia the other day. We're talking a bit about uh, how to improve his um, overall usage of the equipment. Uh, and for example, he didn't have uh, posters and pamphlets and brochures and all the different treatment areas. So a lot of his patients weren't necessarily even aware uh, of the laser therapy if they're just coming in for a maintenance chiropractic treatment, that kind of thing. Um, so the more awareness, the better, and that will also help to drive your business as well. The next slide uh, talks a bit about an established clinic revenue where um, already if you're plunking in the laser therapy directly into a busy clinic, you can ex expect to be a lot busier right off the hop. Uh, so in other words, you should be able to, uh, to uh, uh, get a fairly good return on the investment much faster, again, because you have a busy clinic already, and then establishing more uh, patient flow because of the addition to laser therapy. And again, this is based on a 50-hour work week. Oftentimes, clinics are less than this, uh, and again, at roughly 80% uh, maximum capacity. And again, if you're not using the equipment to 80% or 70 to 80%, uh, then we need to understand what's going on there, why that isn't happening, and we can work with you to improve uh, those numbers for sure. Our marketing support. Um, earlier on in the webinar, David had mentioned how important it is to be educated, uh, participate and listen in on our webinars, attend conferences, um, send brochures. Well, we have the means to support you with this. So on our new website, um, we have a link that is called support and it gives you full access to our marketing support uh, which includes posters, customizable brochures that are uh, that are designed for both practitioners and for patients. And one thing I do have to add there, sorry to interrupt, um, is that the question I get really commonly since we've opened up our, our new website is you have to register. Um, so you have to uh, set up yourself as a new user. We'll send you out a user name and password and that will give you access to what you see in front of you. Thank you. Yes, um, so there are a number of posters and brochures. We also have pathology-focused um, brochures and posters for arthritis, sports injuries, back pain, spinal conditions, as well as lower extremities. And this is a great way to create a buzz in your clinic, um, especially with the variation of the four extremities. You can set up your clinic within the quarter and use that month for awareness on whether it be spinal awareness, arthritis awareness, and so forth. So, so these are, um, for example, the posters or PDFs that you can have printed off at a local print house. Um, one of the, the key ones I, I suggest that you do have around is the application uh, poster that talks a bit about some of the conditions that laser therapy can treat. It's really informative. Patients can read about it and see, you know, for example, you can treat gout or you can treat other conditions they may not be aware of. Um, and don't be afraid to do a lot of talks. Um, I myself have done some talks for CARP, uh, Canadian Association for, Association for Retired Persons. Um, and as you can imagine, that it was a very hot topic with respect to arthritis. So demographically, if you can choose uh, to speak to those individuals, whether that's at uh, local CARP area uh, uh, chapters or at uh, retirement homes or other settings uh, where those types of individuals definitely can benefit from uh, treatment with laser therapy. And just furthermore, sorry David, I know yeah. we're wrapping up, but furthermore, um, don't be afraid to lean on us. Your account executive, whether it be our United States team or our Canadian team, we're here to support you and give you ideas in how to incorporate these marketing items and how to improve your business. All right, so um, if we're going to wrap it up, I just see a few questions here. Uh, one is where and how can I access evidence-based research journal articles about laser therapy? Um, so I'm going to mention um, that this upcoming webinar, I'm going to talk a bit of, a lot more about research, but there are quite a few specific journals uh, that uh, cater to low-level laser therapy. Um, however, most, uh, most of the articles that you find, the journal research papers, are sort of uh, throughout the different spectrum of research. So that could be, you know, um, uh, research journals for physiotherapists or for chiropractors or, or for pain management, those kinds of things. Um, there's even been research in The Lancet and other um, uh, high-impact factor mm. journals. 
Um, so if you want a complete list, uh, feel free to email me. My email is david at BioflexLaser. Um, and also, uh, if I can just uh, move forward here. Oops. Um, you can also email us at info at bioflexlaser.com if you have any other specific uh, questions about what we've talked about today. Um, as far as scholarly articles, uh, specifically on clinical trials, um, there's about 400 randomized controlled trials on laser therapy. Um, so it really depends on what, you, what you're most interested in. I can I get you most of those articles. I do have access, them, access to them. If you uh, want to use them for personal use, you can email me. Um, so again, I hope that you enjoyed today's um, webinar and that if you have any other questions, feel free to email us here uh, or myself, david at bioflexlaser.com or Juliana's email. Yeah, at juliana at bioflexlaser.com. And again, don't forget to tune in to next week's uh, seminar, or uh, webinar, I'm sorry, uh, on the systemic and local effects of laser therapy. I think you'll find it very interesting and enlightening as well. Again, I appreciate everyone's time today. And if you need to uh, revisit this webinar, it will, re will be available for rebroadcast on our website within about a week uh, via the portal that we just showed under marketing and support. Um, I'm just going to see if there's another question here. Um, can you repeat the US CPT co codes? You flew through them very fast. Uh, okay, excellent. Let me just see if I can revisit that. Just give me one second here. Here we go. Okay, so those PT code or CPT codes were 97039 for physical and medicine rehab, 97026 for infrared, 97032 for attendant electrical stim. 97139 for unlisted therapeutic procedure and 97140. Hopefully that you got them that time. But if not, you can always email me and I can get those out to you as well. Um, so again, thanks again for attending and we hope to uh, talk to you soon. Take care. Thank you.